Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. Uh, we're at level 10, chapter 3. And uh, here's our traits. We've used up the resurrection charge. The, this trait is not that good. Probably wouldn't pick it again. This one's amazing, I think, because you don't need a slot for it. Um, I have an Oblivion card. I have a village. We probably could have spawned in the boss if I just threw down all these cards right before we got here. But uh, I didn't do that. So we're doing one more loop. And who knows? Maybe we'll get some better stuff. Oh, that's fat amounts of regen, isn't it? But tra these things are huge for skeleton level. Uh, we are going to see some things drop off. I'm not too worried about that one bit. Mm, doo, doo, doo. Now, our river is going to go like this and hit through here. We might be able to fill more of this now that we're doing this extra loop. Um... I probably want to throw down a village for healing at some point, somewhere. And then we want to ob oblivion the bandit camp. But where am I going to put the rest of the forest? I just, I don't think we're going to be able to fill this river. I don't think we're going to be able to fill this. Anyways, these are dead slots anyhow, anyhow if I fill the river there. So... I guess we'll go here. And we'll go here. Okay. Attack speed, 34%. Bringing in that big, fat, taunty McGee. Real nice. Dead. Oh, level 11. Oh, wow. Okay. So, that's pretty big. It means our summon quality is non-existent. I could take this one, which gives us a skeleton. It gives us the same level that we're at right now. And it keeps the 20% summon quality. So, yes, please. We do that. We hold this one. We'll see how this feels. Uh, but I feel like at the boss, if we can summon five skeletons, then we get that archer skeleton in there too, right? 138 attack speed. 140 attack speed. Yeah, let's keep going. There it is. Yeah, and the other thing to consider is really holding your our thickets for the rivers and not the forest. Put the forest elsewhere, but at least make sure that all of your rivers are lined with thickets and on both sides. That was a that was a good learning. But still it's kind of working out. Little concerned about this. Little concerned about our our top end health, but we just went through a particularly sweaty zone. That won't be happening, but what about this? The thing is, when we swap one of these uh, rings, we're, we're getting a ton of levels from those. We're getting five levels from the rings. Six, almost. No, five. But still, very, very, very strong. Okay, here's another skeleton, and levels, and HP. Is it too good to be true? Six skeletons? Holy archery, Batman. Where am I going to place this that's going to help me? I guess it could help me here on uh, this cemetery tile. 
Uh, do I need my heal? I'm probably going to try to save this heal for as late as possible. And then we might not even need to worry about oblivion the camp. Let's just keep going. This area should be fine. I don't want the oblivion to fall off, though. Now that we have another village, I'm fine with this one falling. We're not going to use this one. This one is still a maybe. This gives us a higher skeleton level. We would lose a skeleton, but I'm holding this because six skeletons is a, is a lot. Um, but during the boss, I imagine we would get to six skeletons, two of which can't be attacked, right? So that seems like maybe the way to go. But this would boost us significantly, actually. Yeah, maybe this. Maybe we trade this, but let's see how this goes. Because these guys are hitting for 78. They're not one-shotting our guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's so... Oh, my... Oh, God. There's so many things. Chill. I want to save this. Summon quality, no. Skeleton level is the same, but we lose a skeleton. We get more magic HP. Uh, lose the skeleton. Yeah, I'm just going to save this level 11 grimoire right now. 20% quality, I'm fine with. And then depending on what the boss is, like... I guess we could even make that decision while in the boss. To see how it operates. Pretty nice defense increase, but we lose a skeleton as well. <laughs> so we could drop a skeleton level, maintain the skeleton, and just get a small boost, but I don't think that's good. getting all of our levels from here. Well, not all of it, like, such a huge amount. I would like to see, like, level 12 versions of these rings just bare like this with just skeleton level on them. Okay, so now we're going for 144. Double thicket. 150. It's freaking awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Well, at least I know my, my river strategy for the future. Yeah, we're definitely going to spawn the boss, guys. This is... I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I don't think we're going to run into too many problems coming up. If I put a village here, then I'm guaranteed to not deal with bandits. So I might as well. And then I could even oblivion out this fiend if I want. Or maybe I oblivion here, but we have the archer help. Like, I don't know. I don't think we need to oblivion. And we're going to have an extra trait. Ooh. Oh, Edge of Impossible. Or we start the boss with three strengthened. I don't know. Three times loop HP after skeleton death. Oh, that might be the way to go, man. That might be the way to go. With so many skeletons, like this feels a bit greedy. Whereas this, every time one of them dies, I'd be healing for 30 HP. And maybe they will die. Maybe they won't. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Uh, no. 
this is kind of tempting to drop a skeleton from six, because, like, five is still really nice. And then we would have a much higher quality as well. I'm just going to keep these two here. I guess if... Yeah, I mean, if we switch... If we switch both of these, and we go down to four skeletons, I don't want to do that. So currently, it's an either-or scenario. Oh, I should spam in the rest of my uh, my mountains and stuff, too. Here it comes. Oh, boy. Wow. Incursion. Yeah, I'd say so. So we'll heal a bit there, hopefully. There's a plus one skeleton, but I'm not going to trade those levels. God, they hit hard. Oh, what's this? Okay, so this is another... This would replace our skeletons. We would lose our summon quality, but our level would be increased pretty significantly. The, the challenge is, where do we get the level? Where do we get the quality from? Maybe here. Maybe that's the trade-off, right? We would drop to five, but have a much stronger skeleton group. Is this one even better? 6.04 plus 6.92, which is 6.96. Yeah, this one's actually... Oh no, wait. Yeah, no, this one is better for us because we can maintain the skeleton, right? And then I could drop one from here, so we go to five. But we would have... Uh... Oh, not this one. I'm sorry. We would have this. So we'd have the quality back that we would lose from there. I think that's an overall improvement. Right? Because we, we go up in level, maintain the skeleton... Um, but if I replace this, we go to zero quality, and then I put this one in, we drop a skeleton, we drop 14 attack speed, which is, at this point, kind of negligible, and then we would get the higher defense, small amount of evasion, and the quality. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it. Thirteen point one two on the quality. Oh my god. Found all the rivers. Oh my god. Hold on. Regen. Oh, we actually took a lot of damage there. We actually took a lot of damage there. Should I oblivion this camp? The boss skeleton. Yeah. Summon quality for levels. Nah. I could definitely use an improvement here. This is the same level, but we lose a skeleton. So that's the challenge, right? This one's giving us the plus one skelly. Oh, nice. Got the guard in there. Love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's too bad. So the Grimoire, no. Not going to take that. The Amulet. We lose the Skeleton, but up our quality. I, we definitely want to have five, right? We definitely want to be able to summon an Archer. That's crucial.
Okay, wow. Holy smokes. I can't put a village in to heal anywhere. We're going to get a big heal, obviously, at our camp. And then we, of course, have the dailies. Hey, what are mixed nuts? 2% max HP for every point of defense. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Probably good for the warrior. So here's another level on skeletons, but we lose one. I actually think right now we're in, like, the best spot we can be. Whether or not this is good for the boss, I have no clue. We don't know what we're dealing with. Um... Yeah, I don't know what we're dealing with. So we're at 20% quality, 13 level, 156 attack speed. Evasion is useless. Where's evasion coming from? Here, because of the quality. Do I have another one that gives quality? We have like a... We have a quality amulet. It drops the skeleton. Nope. I think we're just going to let her buck, guys. Let's let's learn the third boss, finally. What the frick? Hold on. Hunter? Hunter's Hound. Know your place, dog. The eyes are glowing. He's on meth, I think. Not the most polite greeting I've heard. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't talking to you. My loyal hounds like to fool around sometimes. Keeping discipline is important. Woof. Oh, yeah. We had seen these guys somewhere, didn't we? And as for you, my little hero... Know your place, dog. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, let's see. Sometimes the need arises to kill the whole herd in the pen. Not without a reason, of course. And as you start killing them, a couple of bulls break the fence and escape into the forest. But that won't do. You need to kill every one of them. That's the point, you know. And that's where the hunter comes in. He'll track down every rebellious bull and shoot it. So don't even try talking to me about politeness, my little hero. How polite is it of you... Not only to avoid world annihilation, but to resist this magnificent process. I've heard enough of this kind of talk. I beg your pardon? All of you, ha all of you have this wonderful and profound motivation to participate in this cataclysm. And every one of you ignores the fact that we all want to keep living. It stinks to be exterminated, you know. Frankly speaking, I don't give a damn. I just enjoy hunting. And now, if you'll excuse me, I will feed the remnants of your world to my hounds. They'll eat it all in one bite as if their stomachs were black holes. Hope you're as bad at hunting as you are at jokes. Never mind, you'll get my joke very soon. Get him. Woof. Okay, so. Whew, the hunter. He's got a decent chunk of health there. Uh, way more than me. The kennel. Damage is increased by 100% and 30% max HP if healed after the death of an ally. Hunter's horn. Fills the hound's attack bar by 50% instead of every second attack. And star gunpowder. Forces the hero to stop attacking and and attack another target instead. Also, he never misses. So evade doesn't matter here. What it sounds like. The hound uh, jump escapes to the astral plane after three hits and forces the hero to attack another target. Returns after three attacks and deals a critical hit with 250% damage. Hopefully on our skeletons, I guess. All right. It's out of my hands now. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say we're going to beat the boss. I don't want to say it, <laughs> but it's certainly looking good unless he's got some weird shit that he does. Okay, wait. No, yeah. Okay, wait, wait. I knew it felt too easy. What's happening? Do I just need to kill the dogs too? That's really interesting. So they're in the astral plane right now. They bounce out for that crit. Wow. Dudes, we did it. Ah, ha, ha, that was so much fun. What a shame. Cornered by my own target and killed. Now tell me everything you know. Oh, please. You don't really think that this is the moment when I acknowledge your power and tell you all I know out of sheer respect to you. I'm dying here, you know. It's not a great time for revelations. And also, 
You've killed my hounds, you bastard. Think I feel good about that? Don't confuse your motivation with mine. I hope you don't have this annoying habit of coming back to life unarmed. Unharmed, do you? Oh, does he come back? Right now, while I'm still dying, a new body has already been made for me in the heart of the greatest black hole. So yes, I will be back. Don't think that everything is so simple. My hunt shall continue. There's no place in the universe where I couldn't track you down. Enough to make things so complicated. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not going to hide. I feel better knowing that you're wasting your time fighting me instead of destroying other worlds. I hear the sound of a horn and the barking of my loyal hounds. A new hunt begins. A new hunt. These guys are a real nuisance. They give me hope, though. They wouldn't waste their time on me if I wasn't a real threat to their goal. <laughs> we did it. Okay. So, I've talked about this a little bit previously. But uh, I've learned what these rewards do now. So, you can take the resource assortment, which I think I might actually take. It's really good. But, let's read through these. Uh, what these rewards do is add this into kind of your trait deck. So you have a chance to pull these uh, when you get a trait. So once per battle, hero does four hits with double the speed when the health falls below 20%. Um, I mean, that would be f okay on somebody like the rogue or even somebody like the warrior with vampirism. Hero has 6% chance to reflect a ranged shot into a random enemy. Not bad. 40% chance not to spend a healing potion upon usage. That's probably pretty good. 50% chance... Like, you'd have to get lucky, but it's doable. I think I'm going to take the resources, though. It's a lot of nice stuff. A lot of full orbs and things. Let's get the frick out. I can't believe it, you guys. First time seeing the boss crushed. What happened? Why the shock face? Because it has nearly torn off. I still don't get... How I've ended up victorious. There, there. I think you're underestimating yourself. No, I'm serious. That hunter had black holes as hounds. I think they can swallow whole planets. And the hunter's weapon, stars went out behind me after every shot. With all that power, you can destroy a galaxy. And I'm sure he already has done so a few times. I don't understand how I could be a match to fight him. And I'm afraid I'm realizing it's true for both the Lich and the Priestess as well. Oh, no. Don't tell me this encounter's broken you. Look. This place is becoming better. You mustn't give up. What are you talking about? It's quite the opposite. I'm fully confident that we'll succeed. It's not just a coincidence. I have the power to fight this evil and I have a chance to beat it. Chance to beat it, huh? Well, guess the luck's on your side. Wow. Okay. 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 Library? Should probably do the library first. Now, I'm guessing this bridge unlocks the ability to prolong the river under a road during an expedition. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that's some cool planning, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to do the library. Unlocks the bookery card. Unlocks the maze of memories golden card. If the intel center is built, which it is, we will also then learn what our alchemist tent can do. Um, Let's do it. Ah, this pleasant smell of cellulose sheets and dried ink. The smell of books, to put it simply. Look at us. Me, a scientist, knowledge is my weapon, and you, a wanderer. Your weapons are, well, your weapons. And still, in spite of all the differences at the end, we pursue the same goal to know and save this world. Theory, knowledge, learning. We shall discover this world anew, my friend. Cool, you're a geek, too. I like that. I like dorks. I do like dorks. Um, okay, so we're definitely going to want to look at upgrading some of these, but what's the alchemist tent? We have enough to build it. Unlocks alchemy. Unlocks the ability to craft jewelry. Unlocks the zero milestone golden card if the intel center is built. It's going to use 24 of our 63 metals. 24 of our 36 rations. Two of our uh, astral orbs. And three of our fish eyes, the orb of unity. Uh, okay, so if I want to build, or if I want to upgrade these, these are going to use eight metals and some of this food as well. So what do I value more right now? The food seems decently easy to come by. I could also build like another farm if I wanted to, to, to improve our food production. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking this is basically just like in here. So we have tools we can make, we have food we can make, and we have uh, 
alchemy to make other stuff. But like, until I up our supply limits, this really doesn't even benefit us, right? What should we put in here now? Plus 1% HP for passing the campfire, but max HP is lowered by 2% from the base amount. Uh, interesting. I guess you, you stuff like this you want to be stacking, probably. 5 HP at the start of a day. I like, I like this wardrobe. I think the wardrobe seems pretty good. And if you're going to do like a themed run, like you go with your garlic against vampires, all that kind of stuff. Plus one HP after killing an enemy. Maybe I'll take that as well. Increased damage done to bosses. I mean, pff, didn't even need that. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, it's, I don't know. Because this is going to use 24 food. We'll have 12 left. And we need... We could upgrade each of these to level 2. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think this is cool. We already have some new stuff. So how much time do we have left? Not a lot. But let's just take a little peek see. Let's take a little peek into Chapter 4. So 3 to 4 abilities. Strength throws 4% per loop, which is uh, insane. It's the same as before. That's actually good. No limit on resources. They're 10% stronger, though. So especially early, we have to be very careful. Um, and then these cards. So what's the bookery? Replaces your cards with random ones when you pass it. Collapses after 20 exchanges. Huh. This would be something like, okay, so you, you get into a situation where you have like a ton of rocks, you don't want to play them or something, and then you have a bookery that could swap these. And you basically hold this in your hand, play it late. Maze of Memories does nothing, takes up a lot of space. Intricate structure of its walls force you to use your brain and remember a big part of the world. What? What? Doesn't even make sense. That's that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. I think we'll stick with the arsenal. I'm trying to think of how we would use this bookery, and it's the only way I can think of using it. Um, replaces your you're basically just shuffling through a bunch of cards all the time. So this is a, this is something where you kind of want to build up your hand. Maybe you play a couple of bookeries, and it's just like you don't even play your cards. Unless they're absolutely essential. That might be kind of cool. Let's try it. What's, okay, so we have like... A, let's do a couple of minutes. Let's just jump in there. We're obviously not going to go super far here. Let's see... Um, let's see what chapter 4 is like. Alright. Arsenal... Sure. Hmm... Now, I wonder if the... Oh, here we go. So, we're going to do our river like this. We have a lot of open space over here. So we can definitely double up the river. And then maybe just go over here, double up this side. We'll see. So, what do you do now? Creature's allies get the thick slime effect after its death. Okay. So they gain these extra abilities, but they're not always just bonuses to them. There's certain things like the uh, Scarecrow is an example, right? They get rid of an enemy on the tile, which is kind of nice. Okay, so let's go here. Oh, what's this now? Oh, look at our boss meter. What the frick? When this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter... Okay, I don't know what that means. I 
don't know why there's these increments, but I want to find out. So let's maybe just like, let's just spam a bunch of stuff here. Let's at least hit one of these and see what it does. And then we'll probably run from fear. Shoe nails. Right. Yeah, shoe nails are cool. Attackers receive one damage after every hit. Oh, I like that. Maybe not, not, maybe not with this class, but um, in general, it seems good. Yeah, and so then this gets a little tricky, like where do you place your rocks, right? Because I don't have a clean spot for a, for a nine. Unless I, I could do it like right here. And then wrap around. Now our efficiency is so much higher where that where this river is placed, so. Now, we I've talked about this last in the last run, but we probably just want, we want to save our thickets, I think, to really maximize our attack speed. I don't know how realistic that is. The other thing is we could start considering patterns where we are hitting multiple of those thickets too. Anyways, let's keep placing these because this isn't going to be a complete run anyway. We could literally die at any second. Every card gets played until we hit that little threshold. Except for the Oblivion if we can, because I think that steps us backwards. Twice as many cards here. I can't believe how quickly we destroyed that boss, man. That was holy. That was wild. I guess we just were able to get that uh, that that uh, skeleton level up to a really high number. That seemed to be like that was good. And the number of skeletons, too, right? I think we might have just had, like, a really good combo for the boss. Unknowingly, but I'll take it. In a way, I kind of miss, like, that struggle that we had on the second boss. I think it would, took us, what, four times? Three or four times? I'm pretty sure it was four. an extra skeleton. We haven't gotten any groves or anything. Skeleton level goes up a little bit here. I 
I just want to I just want to put extra enemies on so we can get more cards. This should be a drop of something. Sure. Ah, whatever. We'll let the bandits come in even. Ooh, hi there. This is a such a weird start. And of course, it's just when we want to just test it out, but we don't get any spawns. Alright. I'll at least start spawning in harpies. probably spawn by the time they get here. I should have just put this on our camp because I, I don't want to put cemeteries on the camp because they have a lot of armor and they don't take as much damage from the archers, but for our purposes here, it would have been totally fine. I would have just sped it up a bit. Just notice you don't get any XP from chests. Kind of cool. Summon quality versus evasion. Basically, a small trade-off in level. Uh, let's do this one. Let's see if he steals anything. We're clear. Plus one skelly. Yep. That, I don't know. I feel like that's... A guaranteed take if I ever see it. Okay, now we might end up hitting that threshold. Yep. So what is this? Whoa, baby. Oh, wait. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? That we are facing so Lich, then the 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 mirrors, and then the the other guy, right? I think so. That's probably what happens here. You probably have to beat them all and then summon another one, which is crazy. Which means you definitely want to just spam your home base, which makes sense because you have the watchtowers. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. I wonder if we have the option to to take off here. Here's the bookery. So it collapses after 20 exchanges. Does that mean 20 individual cards, like, in total? Can anyone hit this bird? Thanks. I also wonder, like, what happens if we don't... I doubt you could do all of this. Oh, yeah. I wanted to try this. My bad. Place your cards with random ones when you pass. So, I'm just going to put it on one tile here. I shouldn't have spent these mountains, but... Just as an experiment, let's just hold our cards. Damn. Okay. I kind of like that. And, it, and then it eventually get it eventually falls off because if you put it in this middle section here you get a new batch of cards spend the best new batch of cards here spend the best new batch of cards here like that seems awesome seems very cool okay let's finish out this loop hmm. 
that lich will be basically impossible because of the lich palaces. But now it's good to know that's a future heads up for us, definitely. 3.91. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Yeah, and then how many palaces are here? Holy crap. It actually goes two out as well. Notice that. Not diagonally, but north and up and down. Vertical and horizontal. Whatever whatever word you want to use for it. I mean, we have five skeletons. Should we just try and fight it? Let's just see what happens when we fight it. And then we'll leave after that. He's probably going to decimate us because he's got all the buffs. Miner's pick. Pebbles when passing campfires. Alright, let's just see. Hello? How is it possible? Shut up. We've got a score to settle. Now look at him. He's got 55% damage and HP boost. It's kind of a joke. But we have five skeletons. So there's that. Now if he just attacked anybody else, just anyone else would be good. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, man. That was fun. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we know what to expect. That's great. That's great. That's great. Um, you know what? Let's take this little upgrade here so we have that 15% revive. I was looking at the people. At first, they were lying down, and then they started getting up, walking, bringing coffee. Convenient. I could look after you, too. You don't need to lie down. You must go. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to stop here. When we come back, we will be... We will be fighting in Chapter 4, if you can believe it. Um, I'm still going to go with this type of setup. I really like it. It worked very well. I'll keep the bookery though. I like that. Um, I could consider even adding wheat fields. Little bit more healing. We get the scarecrows, which scare off the other stuff. Uh, most of our enemies come from the grove and the cemetery. Uh, maybe not. Let's leave it. All right. Wish me luck, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you had a good one. Bye.